What is going on everybody? My name is Nico. Welcome back to another Regulation H video. Forgive my voice. I am getting a little sick. So today we are playing Primeape and Primeape is goofy, right? Because it gets Anger Point where you can use Smeargle with Surging Strikes to proc the Anger Point and do really, really big damage with this particular Pokemon. This is some serious best of one cheese as the creator, Mr. Kratasic himself put it in the Discord. Very cool stuff. Very cool stuff. It's just a rain team with the mouse hold of... Uh, primate beat him up stuff with our chaludon it's it's a pretty basic rain team but instead of annihilate you're using primate uh can be a lot of fun i'm keen to see what we could do with it here today let me know your thoughts in the comments below um do you like annihilate are you a fan of annihilate's play style i know a lot of people have a lot of distaste for annihilate i personally am a big fan so i'm keen to see what we could do with the pre-evo in this video but let's get into some battles all right We are Terra Fairy. I feel like that's going to be pretty useful in this one. The big issue becomes they just straight out speed my Primeape. So I think we have to bring it in the back and let our Chalodon kind of do its thing to start. Hydreigon and Garchomp. Makes sense. You can spam Earthquakes next to it. Makes a lot of sense. I'm just going to Tailwind and Terra Fairy. And we'll go for a Body Press. They are going to Terra. It's the Garchomp. We're fine with that. Terra Ground makes sense. That means my uh, Pelipper's in good shape next turn. My Pelipper's in really good shape next turn. There's the Earthquake. Everybody saw that coming. Everyone saw that coming. That's a lot of damage. Draco, perfect. Cool. That's really awesome damage. Uh, I'm going to lock another body press in. And actually what I want to do is go for a body press and a weather ball. I think that's actually the play. That's fine. Incineroar is going to come in. Beautiful. Garchomp goes down. That's beautiful. <laughs> you don't want to tear a ground there. That just gets a little tricky for you. All right, we go for big damage here onto their Incineroar. Nice. And they already blew their Terra, which is really, really good. Carnivore comes in. I'm just going to go for the Weather Ball into Incineroar. They're going to fake out my Pelipper. We have Covert Cloak, so it doesn't matter. Incineroar goes down. Flash Cannon with the Arch. Awesome damage. They're going to go for a Psychic. Let's see what that does to my Archaladon. Not quite enough.
We just hurricane and we go for, okay, that's a GG. <laughs> All right, good start. We didn't get primate out on the field, but that's a good start. All right. All right. Admittedly, we don't have great options. Um, we don't have fantastic options into the opposing um, arch rain teams. So I think I have to lead our Chaludon with the ape in the back and I guess we bring Smeargle? I guess? Alright, let's see what they got. Oh! Okay. I feel pretty okay with this. I mean, I'm just going to click Electro Shot and Hurricane. No reason to get real cheeky with it. Because I feel like this is just like, they led weird. They led so weird. Okay, they're gonna fake out Arch. I'm cool with that. They're gonna hurricane my bird. And we're gonna hurricane on their boom. We confuse their boom. I like that. I mean, I'm going to click Tailwind. I think it is the best play. They're going to send in their Archaladon. Makes sense. Hurt yourself. Hurt yourself. Hurt yourself. Darn. Okay. Smeargle. I feel like Smeargle actually plays pretty nicely here. And I'm just going to Electro Shot into the boom. I'm going to Terra Fairy Electro Shot the boom. And go for a spiky. Let's see what Terra they are. They are Terra Grass. That's fine. We shoot off the spiky. Okay. Not allowed. Lovely. We're just stacking on our Chaludon right now. We're just stacking on the Archaladon right now. Okay. Yeah. 
Well, Dango comes to play. I think I have to go for follow me and electro shot into the gold dango. Ooh, they have make it rain. That does a lot. They're gonna charge an electro shot. Okay, down goes Smeargle. We might be cooked. There's a good chance here that we're cooked. That does take Gold Dango. We get in Primate. How many more turns of rain are there? This is the last turn of rain. I think the best play is to go for a Draco Meteor and protect and hope we win the speed tie. That's really our only play. Yep, they got greedy. They went for the Annihilate. Well, the Primate. We got a Hope. Mm, I did, we don't take this hit. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that they're just faster than our Arch Aladon, and we don't take this hit. Unfortunate. That's just going to be a GG. Not a whole lot we could do there. That's just a GG. Okay. I actually feel like I can lead this. What's my speed stat, actually? Not bad. That's not bad speed, honestly. Okay. Yeah, I actually think I can get away with that and then bring these two in the back. Alright, let's see what we got. Okay. I'm thinking this turn I just go for a Spore on the Dragonite and protect the Ape. They E-speed me. Fine. They go for Sucker. Perfect. I'm just gonna go for a drain punch here and I'm gonna spore again. Just to avoid the sucker. Okay. Oh, that's beautiful. That's beautiful damage. We're going to Rage Fist the Dragonite now, and we are going to go for a Terra Ghost and go for the Surging Strikes. That way, if they go for another E-Speed, they won't hit me. That's the objective here. Because we want to proc the uh, A. 
Did you wake up? They go for E speed. Yep. See, they were trying to shut down my Smeargle setup. So this works out so good for us. Because now I can Surging Strikes and proc the Anger Point. And he didn't Terra Normal, which is really good. Because we can just send a Rage Fist now. And that's a Dead Dragonite. Nice. Very nice. Um, I'm down to just Spore and protect this turn. They are going to Terra. Could be a Terra Grass. Terra Grass is getting more and more common. Definitely could be Terra Grass. It's Terra Electric. We're fine with that. Love it. And they're still asleep. Good. Oh, no. They're not still asleep. But it's fine. They targeted the wrong Pokemon. So we're cool. We're good with that. We Rage Fist and we Surging Strikes into the King Gambit. And they gave us the battle. Okay, GG. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> oh, it's fun when you can get it set up. It's fun when you can get it set up. It's a lot of fun. Very cheeky. Okay. All right. What do we want to do here? I kind of think leading these two is the play and bringing Primeape in the back is the move. What's even doable, we don't even have to worry about Anger Point necessarily. What we can do is this. Bring Pelipper here and do this kind of setup. That could be pretty useful. All right, here we go. We got Palmot and Goldengo as the lead. Okay. I mean, we could just go for the damage on the Palmot. I'm not even opposed to Terra Ghosting here and going for the beat up on the Arch. Because Palmot does have the fake out potential. We also outspeed their Palmat, which is really nice. They could be going for a close combat, but with the plus four defense boost, that's going to be very, very nice. We go for close combat into Mouse. Okay, we take that. They're going to just rip a Shadow Ball into us. It's going to do decent damage for sure. Big body press. Hmm. 
I'm kind of down to just go for follow me. Let the mouse go down and just rip a flash cannon over there. We lose the goggles. I wonder if they're choice specs. So we get the flash cannon, we get rid of the Palmont. There's no revival blessing shenanigans. We can also now safely bring in our Pelipper. And just looking at the spread here, we are a max speed on the Pelipper, which is nice. That's pretty nice. We're gonna go for the Electro Shot here, and we're just gonna set Tailwind. We're gonna get our Tailwind up. Dragon Darts comes out. We eat that like a champ. Get another Stamina Boost. They are gonna rip another Shadow Ball. Oh, that just KOs. That isn't good. That's really not good. Okay, now we have to think. I think the bigger target is the, um, the bigger target is their Dragapult here. Hopefully Rage Fist does enough. Ah, it doesn't. Not without the beat up. Which means we probably just go down here. This is probably just a GG. Yeah. GG. Unfortunate. Okay. That is unfortunate. What are you going to do? Just didn't have the speed or the bulk to deal with that. So there's a team once more for you guys. Really cool stuff. Um, It's just a little awkward, admittedly. It is very bad into opposing our train. It, it just doesn't feel good into opposing our train. Um, it's just, it's a little awkward. I definitely think a more defensive Terra typing on the Pelipper would be more beneficial. Um, because you are running Covert Cloak, I don't really see the need for Ghost Terra on this particular team. Um, so that's just my thought on the Pelipper set. Uh, other than that though, it is fun when you can get it set up. It is very best of one cheese. It is very gimmicky, but it is a lot of fun when you can get it set up. It's a very cool team. I recommend you guys give it a go. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like and sub for more videos like this in the future. And if you want to share any Reg Age teams like this one to be featured in future videos, be sure to check out the Discord. But until next time, peace.